Understanding the blood flow through the heart is foundational to understanding cardiac pathophysiology. Blood returning from the body enters the heart through the superior and inferior vena cava and spills into the right atrium. From the right atrium, it's pushed into the right ventricle. The right ventricle contracts and forces blood out of the heart through the pulmonic valve into the pulmonary artery and into the lungs where it's oxygenated. Oxygenated blood then flows out of the lungs through the pulmonary veins into the left atrium. Blood is squeezed out of the left atrium through the mitral valve and into the left ventricle. Then the left ventricle contracts and pushes blood through the aortic valve into the aorta and out through the rest of the body. Understanding where the valves are located will also help you understand murmurs. If a valve doesn't fully open when it should, we call that stenosis. When a valve doesn't close like it should, that causes regurgitation. When we discussed heart sounds, we mentioned that the tricuspid and mitral valve are closing during systole or S1. If you hear a murmur during S1 in either of these locations, it indicates improper closing, therefore regurgitation. If the murmur is heard during S2 in these locations, it indicates stenosis or incomplete opening. In the opposite way, an S1 murmur in the aortic or pulmonic locations indicates stenosis because the valve isn't opening fully. And an S2 murmur in the aortic or pulmonic locations indicates regurgitation from a valve that doesn't close fully. By understanding how the blood flows through the body and through the heart and the physiology behind murmurs, you're better be able to understand the signs and symptoms that you see in your patient.